But PowerShell can do a lot of really cool things, at least in my opinion. And one of them is that we can build a script inside of a string and then execute it in PowerShell. So let's talk about how we would do that. So I've got a simple script here that just tells me how many PowerShell consoles are running. So if I go ahead and run that script, it tells me there are three. So I'll take that exact script and I will assign it to the multi-line script variable here using the at symbol and single quotes. Um, that just let me, lets me build a multi-line string. Um, so then I look at the type name of that uh, variable using the get member commandlet. It, it's a string, uh, just like we expected. And so if we output it, it just outputs the contents as a string. Doesn't run the commands, doesn't run the script, nothing. Uh, so in PowerShell, there's this really cool thing called a script block that lets us convert a string to a executable script. Uh, so, so what we would do here is we would use the .NET constructor. Uh, so we had script block inside of square brackets, call the create method using the double colons and then create followed by the parentheses. And then inside the parentheses is where we would put our script that is stored as a string. So I'm going to run that and store it in the script block variable. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and store it in the script block variable. And if we look at the type name using the git member commandlet, we can see that now that string is a script block. That we can see that now that string is a script block. And so we can use the script block parameter of invoke command to actually execute that. So if we do, we can see that there are still three PowerShell consoles running. So that is how you would execute a script in PowerShell that's been stored as a string.